next thing on the agenda is the OES Deputy Director job description. We tabled that up and did you? Yeah. Well, we've sort of got it ready and drafted. Yeah, I've, I've reviewed what the, the Charles had gotten together for us there and things like that. I didn't have any problems with it. Did you? As far as or have you got to see it? Uh, I saw what uh, Alan Holden yeah. had. Yeah. Is it the same thing? Basically just socks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I think, you know, if, if everybody's reviewed it, we could, do you have any one of the changes you would all want to make to it or anything of that nature? Well, if not, can uh, we go ahead and adopt the job description? I think that would be appropriate this time. Do we have a motion to do so? I move that we adopt the job description of the OES Deputy Director. Second. If we have a motion to second, is that an all yes vote? Yes. yes. Now, what are, we, are, we, are we going to take any kind of application to that position now? Or, I, mean, or? I think probably that's what you should be ready now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's go, we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, yeah. Does Alan want to do that right now? See if he wants to, uh, yeah. let's put out a paper. But well, he wants to move on, I think. What last conversation I had, he needs some help. Do we need a motion to do that, put the hand in the paper? Okay. So, then what we'll do is, uh, once we get those together, we'll review them and see if we can decide going to do that talk. Okay, on to new business. <coughs> I need a motion to approve the bills to submit a proposal. I move. Awesome. Is that no yes? Yes. I need a motion to approve the appointment starting vacation Lincoln County Commission by Daryl Baker. Clerk. I move. I said. And no yes. <coughs> I need a motion to approve the appointment bills and settlements as submitted by Daryl Baker. Clerk. A second. Then all yes? Yes. Commissioners, the uh, next thing on the agenda is the budget revision that I need to send to the state auditor's office for approval. <clears throat> if you will see that the um, top part is the revenues, I'm increasing the um, refunds reimbursements, and then the expenditures in the bottom part. Which looks like this. <laughs> the biggest expenditure will be the $500,000 for the purchase of the church. And um, if it all goes well, we should be able to, by receiving rent from the family court, we should be able to pay that back in three years' time. Is there a motion to approve the budget revision? I move. Is there a second? Second. All yes? Yes. I need a motion to set the Board of Equalization Review on the following dates from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. by appointment only. February the 1st, 4th, 5th, 7th, 11th, 13th, 15th, 2013, with February the 5th, 2013, being Natural Resource Day, and adjourn on February the 28th, 2013. I did try to move the Natural Resource Day from the 5th because Mr. McCann has to be out of town. However, they were all booked up and that's the only time they could do it. Is there a motion? I move. Second. All oh, yes? Yes. <coughs> I need a motion to approve the inner office budget revision for the Office of the Assessor, which was requested by Ch Josh Bradfield, Assessor, as follows. Transfer $2,000 from retirement to salary and transfer $550 from retirement to FICA. I'll move. Second. Then all yes. 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 I need a motion to approve the appointment of David Vickers as an auxiliary deputy as requested by Ken Farley, Sheriff. Motion. I move. I'll move. Second. Second. <coughs> oh, yes. 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 Next thing on the agenda, gentlemen, we received a um, request from the Gone Valley uh, Middle School Baseball Team. They're requesting um, money to help them 
on um, the deck out the bleachers, the restrooms, concession, pre uh, press box. Um, it's uh, the field uh, facility is about 20 years old, and they're needing some assistance in repairing. The school board did tell them that they would buy them some things. What the school board said? The school board said they found some paint. Do they have any idea of what this is going to cost and things of that nature? They look at that. I don't, is this Christopher Topping's thing that you're doing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, he, um, he didn't say. He just brought in the request. and It says right here we're requesting $1,000 for the project. Uh, well, I'll move. Move for a thousand. Yep. Is there a second? Second. Is that all yes. 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 Next thing is we received a dona uh, request for donation to the Lincoln County High School wrestling team. They're wanting to buy a, a new mat to KK might be able to tell us about what a mat costs. <laughs> He's well, got some boys in wrestling. A mat a mat will cost from seven thousand to ten thousand. And uh, they are currently raising money, and uh, they're getting ready to have a meet uh, at the beginning of February over at the high school. And I think they're probably expected to get probably raise about four thousand dollars there. But um, they have buddy league wrestling that come that actually they come in to uh, Lincoln County every year, and, and that's a, a pretty good sized money maker. And all that money goes into the uh, the high school wrestling team. Because uh, the Buddy League uses the the mats for the I mean the high school's mats, um, but the big expense in wrestling is the mats. That's it, and, and keeping them clean. Um, but it's uh, it's a an up and coming program. I think there's a good request in that. I'll make we did that. I second. And yes. yes. <laughs> we weren't sure how much the one thousand. One thousand. Get one thousand. Next thing on the agenda, um, as we know, the school board is um, in the process of trying to get a school bond passed in Birmingham, Lincoln County, and um, we need a motion to adopt a resolution in support of the Lincoln County School Board in their efforts of passing a school bond for the benefit of Lincoln County. I move. I'll second. Yes. yes. Uh, along the same line, I think uh, <clears throat> those of uh, the community that are in, have been involved in the political process before and getting people out to vote need to really engage themselves with this school bond levy. I don't. I think that for this to be successful, we have to get those people out that uh, uh, have helped us previously to try to get this thing passed. There's a lot of people have misconceptions about this bond, I think, and, and uh, you know, because some people don't have children in school and some people do and things of that nature. So we all look at it from different angles, but I would hope that those uh, people that were involved in the, the campaign processes before would uh, talk to their people and get them involved in trying to uh, get this bond passed for these kids. I, I think it's, you know, we, we, we see uh, recently in the surrounding counties and across the nation, these things are having a tough time being passed. And we don't often get a chance in Lincoln County to approve things uh, uh, with monies that would become available. And I think this is one of the times that we really need to engage all those people that are involved in, uh, in, in being able to talk to people and get, and get them to come out and vote. If they, if they don't want to vote for the school bond, that's entirely their right to do not to vote for it. But I think it's, it's entirely within our responsibility to make sure there's many people that want to vote for it get out and vote. So I would ask those in the community that could help this school bond to do so, and I'm sure we'll do what we can from our end to try to make sure that we engage the people that are interested in the future of our children to come out and vote for this uh, bond issue. Okay. I think it'd be good to, you know, the governor uh, is pushing for this bond to be his first full term. And, be good if Lincoln County could pass this bond and just make a good statement to the governor that we're serious about education for our kids. So, certainly support. 
well, being a parent of four children in the uh, school system, um, yeah, <laughs> we have a there is a, a need for new facilities in this county. I, I mean, it's if you if you've been to the schools in the county, and I know there's a lot of you that go in and, and you you know you are a part of the community and you go into the, the schools and you can see what's going on in the schools. Duval is, is overcrowded. Um, Midway is very, very old and dilapidated. Guy Valley, you have walls that are pulling, pulling away from um, the floor on the second level. I mean, we have a neat one. And, um, and it's, it's very important for the future of our children that they have good facilities where they can learn. And uh, I would hope that all of you could get out and support this one. Like, and, and call your friends. And call your family members. Because it is very important. That's all I have to say. Can I say something? Uh, we were talking about this at the senior lunch at the church. I think it's important and, and for people to know that there's a schedule in the paper to visit various schools to talk to the people in charge about this school bond. And I was surprised today nobody knew anything about it. But if you have any questions or want to talk to anybody about it, if you don't understand it, look at that schedule and go to that school. I know uh, Midway is having one on February the 7th. And if you have any questions or you're undecided about it, go to those meetings. That's what they're holding them for. Where can you get a schedule from? It's been in the paper every week for four or five weeks. Okay. Yeah. It's, been in a, it's, it's in a story because the, the paper. Hey, it's on, a lot of times we're putting it on the markets at school. I know it was down at New Ball. And I think tonight we're having one at Gone Bell. Um, but it's, it's very important. If, if, you, if, you, if you have any concerns, go to one of the meetings and they will address your concerns. But I challenge you to go to a school in your community and look at the schools and see what your grandchildren and what your children, your cousins, your nephews, are, are, are where they're attending. And I think it would change your mind if you're against it.